Okay, welcome my dear friends. Myself, Professor Dr. Rajendra Raghuvir Deshpande from Pune, Maharashtra State. I would like to welcome you all uh, for the class of the Kaumar Bhritya Tantra that is also called as the Ayurvedic Pediatrics. We will first try to discuss some of the syllabus points. Okay, uh, just a moment. Uh, I will just uh, try to pause, take a pause for my uh, recording. And then again, I will start the recording. I will just try to take some pause because of some uh, pause. Sorry, there was a little bit uh, technical issues. Okay. Uh, as I'm telling you all the time that to study any subject, it may be Srirog, it may be Kaumar, Rutya, it may be Roganidan. The two things are important for each and every student. The first, he should mug up. He should learn by heart the syllabus of that particular uh, Subject number one. And number two, he must focus on the past question papers, minimum of five years. That means totally there will be 10 papers, minimum 10 question papers. And that we are also taking in this particular uh, classes. And then actually the whole topic we will start. So uh, whenever you hear any lecture in your college, number one, if you start reading your textbook, Always back of your mind, you should have the two things. One is whether it is connected with any syllabus point, And the most important, whether it is it has some relation with the past any asked question. Because all these questions are not only important for your internal examinations. They are important for the university examinations. Yes, they are important. And also for your practice, these questions are definitely important. So don't neglect those particular uh, questions. So we will start to learn about this syllabus first. Okay, uh, one by one, I will go for the slides. So purpose of this PPT, I am not interested. Theory, this is the only one paper will be there of Kaumar Bhutya Tantra uh, that is of 100 marks. Okay, next, uh, this is, there is most important is a uh, terminology uh, of Kaumar Bhutya Tantra. Terminology, Ayurvedic terminology is very important. Try to understand. And the most important uh, original Samhita with relation to the uh, uh, pediatrics is a Kashyapa Samhita. So there are always some questions. What is the importance of Kashyapa Samhita? What are the references of Kashyapa Samhita, etc. But when you talk about Balrog, you must remember the word Kashyapa Samhita. Like medicine, you remember the Charak Samhita. Surgery, you remember the Sushrut Samhita. As an Ayurvedic guide, Compilation from Charak Sushrut, you remember the Vagbat. But for Balrog, you must remember the Kashyap Samhita. Next, there is a Vaya Upabhed. Vaya Upabhed. That is the classification of age. For example, who can be called as a Garbha, Bal, Umar. Then in the first year, there are the uh, Kshirad. That is uh, depend on the breast milk. Kshiranad, breast milk plus food. And Annad, after two years, totally mainly food. All the vegetables, proteins, carbohydrate, fats are taken. That is Annad. Modern classification of childhood period. We will go further. Then there is a neonatal resuscitation. This is the modern terminology. But in Ayurveda, this is called as a Prana Pratyagamana. Prana Pratyagamana. You must remember these words. Prana is like oxygen. Huh? How one can start the crying and how that oxygen should be supplied to the lungs with the uh, after de after delivery uh, after getting the birth then assessment of the gestational age uh, in the uterus that you must remember we will uh, discuss all these things just we have the look on this syllabus point then navajata shishu paricharya that is neonatal care care of the jata matra that is newly born child and sadyo jata care of the what you can say the preterm babies uh, preterm means the before nine months and nine days. Then what is the, uh, uh, what you can say, the paricharya for the full-term baby. Uh, Purna Kalika Shishu. Okay, next. Then there is a Navajat Shishu Paricharya, neonatal care continued. Then cutting of the umbilical cord, how it has been done. Complications of the improper cutting of the umbilical cord and its treatment. That is Rakshogna Karma. Here the specific word, can you see? Rakshogna is nothing but the anti-infective management. Anti-infective. Like we in Ayurveda do the dhupana karma. In the modern medicine, they give the antibiotics. Okay. Next is a Navajata Shishu Paricharya, examination of the newborn baby. 
then ayu pariksha dirghayu then alpayu i think you must remember the kriya sharir there is one practical in the kriya sharir ayurvedic physiology that how we can determine the ayu uh, longevity modern approach of the neonatal examination most of the congenital deformities you can find it out over here next is a navajat shishu poshan that is infant feeding is there then properties of the normal breast milk stanya is a word for the breast milk then physiology of lactation where you must remember the uh, what you can say the uh, suckling reflex in the physiology composition of the breast milk examination of the breast milk stanya parikshan you may be remembering putting it into the water uh, the drop of the milk is put into the water and then we will see the whether the it is mixing homogeneously or it is going directly down whether that breast milk having the samata in it then we will talk about the colostrum uh, the first uh, the part of the breast milk is coming out after delivery uh, by the mother that is called as the colostrum and modern science believes that it is a uh, very good for the nourishment of the baby but according to ayurveda this is very very heavy to digest try to understand there is a difference of opinion about the colostrum in the ayurvedic part and in the modern part next there is a navajat shishu poshan infant feeding techniques of the breast feeding then inadequate production and absence of the breast milk you might have been heard about shatavari kalpa this is the best product to increase the breast milk a uh, shatavari kalpa sugar granules of asparagus racemosus then if the wet nurse that means if the mother is not uh, uh, in a position to handle the baby there is a role of the nurse alternative feeding in the absence of the breast milk what can be the alternatives then stanya dosha vitiation of the breast milk whether it is a vata problem pitta problem kapha problem and then stanya shodhana how you can do the purification of the breast milk then methods to enhance the breast milk production uh, ayurvedic methods are there and also the modern methods are there i have explained about mentioned about chatavari kalpa you might be you may write down the tablet riglan actually it is an anti emetic drug but that tablet riglan is very good to increase the breast milk okay then garbh vriddhi vikar karma brief month wise development of the fetus that is called as a milestones huh? i have the very interesting uh, minimum five videos regarding the pediatrics is not only ayurvedic but modern pediatrics i will share you those links and you must see each and every video and you can start preparing the notes from that videos also milestones of development during the infancy and childhood that is the important topic then poshan that is nutrition especially we will talk about dentition and dental care then there is a danta sampat eruption of the teeth dentition disorders there is a misunderstanding you know, many people feel that uh, the child is getting the diarrhea or child is getting the fever because uh, his uh, wisdom tooth or any teeth is coming at the first time huh? but that is not correct what is happening during the dentition the gums are little bit irritated and the child goes for anything to be chewed and when it takes anything in his mouth that chances of infections are more and that is because of the infection that the diarrhea and all these things happen okay next is a vyadhi kshamatva this topic is always important not for the child but for anybody nowadays during the corona period you might have been heard about lot of discussion were there about the immunity and you might have been heard about the guruchi tablet tinospora cordifolia which is the best immunomodulator then prashana and lehana you might have been heard about the suvarna prashana this uh, suvarna prashana sanskar is very important and getting the popularity in today's days okay so we will talk about that suvarna prashana national programs especially reproductive and child health the government programs are there rch program community child health program nutritional programs national immunization program the most important is a vaccination so we will discuss a lot about how we can do the vaccination my dear friends there is also possibility that meanwhile apart from these live lectures i am providing you some what you can say the text uh, with through the whatsapp or i will share you some my audio clips so everything you have to take on as a part of the class not only this live class and that is finish but other material that i am sending is also important then here samanya chikitsa siddhant 
the principle of treatment when you treat the children uh, the children's uh, treatment is very difficult compared to the adult one okay bal pariksha examination of the sick child and diagnostic methods ayurvedic and modern samanya chikitsa siddhant that is general principles of treatment then we will go further general aushadhi matra nirdharana how we can drug doses according to the age according to the weight and according to the drug content okay specific therapeutic panchakarma procedures in the children uh, a special care has to be taken during the panchakarma okay next will be the paper 1 part b birth injuries for example shwasa avarud shwas is like bronchial asthma and avarud is obstruction asphyxia neonatorum because it is happening in the newborn child so it is neonatorum and asphyxia is a less oxygen then ulbak is a specific term in ayurveda then uh, up shirshak that is kapu kaput succedanum and cephalo hematoma hematoma is like a, a blood clot uh, in the brain cephalo hepatoma then facial paralysis which is also called as a bell's palsy uh, the face is like deviated only face paralysis uh, because of the facial nerve problem then earth paralysis then different fractures are there in the children that we have to consider congenital disorders like the sahaja hrudaya vikara sahaja means congenital hrudaya vikara like the related with the heart then there is a jala shirshak jala is a water hydrocephalus in the brain there is a collection of the water then here is the cleft lip ost ah uh, khand ost khand means breaking of the lip here here lip khand talu inside palate cleft palate is one of the disease next is a congenital disorders anal stricture the anal uh, the tract has been closed stricture is a obstruction stroto rodh imperforated anus that is why after the delivery there is always a presence of the pediatrician huh? you will see that why there is a necessary because gynecologist is there obstetrician is there they are doing their functions of doing the proper delivery but after delivery when the baby is coming out then who is going to examine that particular newborn baby that will be the pediatrician so pediatrician is always present during the delivery huh? to to inspect these all the examinations then pad vikriti that is talipes equivarus or valgus then spina bifida meningocel and meningomyelocele first we will go little bit faster in all these classes but each and every term you must understand by definition now you are just hearing i know there is a bombarding of the terms but don't worry absolutely don't worry i am going to repeat all these terms now and then huh? so nothing to be worried about then brief knowledge about genetic disorders like down syndrome like genetic chromosomes problem are there turner syndrome muscular dystrophy sickle cell anemia thalassemia sahaj madhumeh that is juvenile diabetes you may be um, uh, knowing about this diabetes is very popular diabetes mellitus is a madhumeh and their blood sugar level is very high now there are two types of the diabetes one is a congenital problem like juvenile diabetes and another is a maturity onset diabetes after 40 years of age because of the obesity because of the overweight because of the eating of the lot of sweet things now there is a basic difference insulin in is form in the pancreas in the islets of langerhans this is the group of the cell and their beta cells are secreting insulin now in juvenile diabetes the cells are atrophied that particular pancreas is not having that particular beta cells in enough number and so there is no production of insulin so this juvenile diabetes they must be given all the time in their life insulin so that diabetes is called as a insulin dependent diabetes mellitus insulin dependent diabetes mellitus there is no alternative even if you control weight even if you control your diet there must insulin should be supplemented okay and in the maturity onset that is not dependent diabetes not insulin dependent diabetes mellitus there you can manage with the diet control weight control exercise and oral drugs all this can be done in maturity onset diabetes in juvenile you must give the insulin now 
प्रसवोत्तर व्याधि आफ्टर डिलीवरी प्रसव मीन्स डिलीवरी न्यूनेटल डिसऑर्डर्स फॉर एक्साम्पल न्यूनेटल जॉन्डिस इन्फेक्टिव हिपेटाइटिस लिवर प्रॉब्लम देन नवजात नेत्राभिशंद आफ्टर कोरोना यू माइट बीन हर्ड अबाउट आय प्रॉब्लम दिस इज नॉट दैट रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम बट न्यूनेटल कंजंग डायबिटीज इन्फ्लमेशन ऑफ द आय कंजंग टाइवा दैट इज नाभी रोग अंबिलिकल डिसऑर्डर्स नवजात शिशु रक्त विश विश दैट इज विषमयता दैट इज न्यूनेटल सेप्टिसेमिया विषमयता विष विष मीन्स टॉक्सिन्स आमय मीन्स डिसीज बिकॉज ऑफ द टॉक्सिन्स दैट इज सेप्टिसेमिया ओके नेक्स्ट आई नो आई नो लिटिल बिट फास्टर आई एम गोइंग बट जस्ट डोंट वरी जस्ट गो ऑन हियरिंग दिस ऑर्डर्स ड्यू टू विशिएटेड मिल्क लैक्टोज इंटॉलरेंस मे बी देयर दिस कैन हैपन विद द एडल्ट ऑल्सो दैट दे से that when i drink the milk i start to lose motions many of your relatives or friend adult i am talking about adult there the simple trick i am telling you simple trick you know maybe maybe ha- uh, heard about the ginger huh? dry ginger powder so in this adult patient not uh, not children in the adult patient you can take a half cup of warm milk and put a pinch of the dry ginger and ask him to drink then continue this for 15 days one month then uh, uh, you can increase the dose of uh, milk and gradually that intolerance will go away because of the dry ginger uh, that is the best appetizer and deepana pachana dravya in ayurveda okay ahi putana this is very popular question in the examination napkin rash it's like a skin disorders nutritional problems like karsh weight loss lot of people poor people they are suffering from this kwashior kor and marasmus protein deficiency protein carbohydrate deficiency huh? so all these diseases are discussed here vitamin and micronutrient deficiency like iron deficiency copper deficiency hypervitaminosis this is very interesting we have heard about the deficiency but sometimes the especially this happens with the fat soluble vitamin huh? fat soluble vitamins are a d e k a d e k fat soluble another water soluble vitamins b and c if they are taken in more amount no problem they will be thrown away through the urine water soluble vitamins excess is not happening but vitamin d excess can happen vitamin a excess can happen because they cannot be thrown away with the urine so hypervitaminosis is common in the fat soluble vitamins okay failure to thrive that is undernourishment next slide now infectious diseases for example mumps here you know a uh, parotitis a uh, inflammation of the parotid gland mumps uh, that is a viral infection then romantica that is measles rubella this particular measles chicken pox uh, some videos are there on my youtube channel i am going to share the link of these videos and in spite of wasting the time in the class you please see those videos make the notes and ask me the difficulties to the whatsapp so we can save our time whichever the material is very ready and easily dr deshpande has explained go with that particular material uh, because that can save your money and time also and energy also okay then whooping cough tetanus dhanurvat worm infestation you know that tetanus we take always the whenever there is a injury especially when there is a dirt and rubbish things are more then always there is tt injection tetanus toxicity that we take but actually this should be taken as a preventive because uh, that is a passive immunization antibodies has to be uh, developed and that takes some time so after injury taking the tt is uh, not very much useful basically if there is a very severe, serious type of injury and lot of muddy places are there where you can get that organisms of tetanus then basically uh, in the government hospitals we give the injection a t s anti tetanus serum a t s please write down in spite of tt you better take a t s after grave injury is there because that is a ready made antibodies are given in a t s uh, but in tt antibodies has to be developed now infectious diseases continue typhoid i have already the video meningitis yes i have the video aids dengue i have the video malaria very famous fever with rigor 
whenever the any adult person any child you get the high fever 101 102 and very rigor is there that is always two things malaria or urinary tract infection don't forget tuberculosis you know the weight loss is there anorexia is there chest x ray we do hepatitis that is infection of the liver okay then srotas according to srotas pranava srotas we will talk about the pratishaya that is common cold we will talk about kasa that is cough we will talk about shwas like a bronchial asthma respiratory distress syndrome syndrome is a collection of symptoms new word syndrome collection of symptoms okay tamaka shwas bronchial asthma meanwhile uh, any student can take the screenshots also if they are on the mobile or i don't know in the laptop you can take the screenshot also of this particular going on or you can record all my or you can put the recorder uh, on of your mobile also so automatically uh, some tips will be there and they are very interesting bronchial asthma is a bronchospasm most of the time allergic then there is a shwasanakajwa which is pneumonia very serious disease infectious disease and there is consolidation uh, the lung particular part has been damaged and always you have to do the x ray pneumonitis bronchiolitis then pharyngitis infection of the throat laryngitis vocal cords tonsillitis very common okay next we will go further then annava srotas digestive system ajirna indigestion atisar loose motions chardi vomiting vi bandh constipation mukh paak stomatitis gud paak proctitis here you can see paak what is paak paak is a inflammation paak is a inflammation so always paak indicates the pitt problem high pitt ushna tikshna gun has been raised so you have to do anti pitta treatment for all these paakas okay next annava srotas anal fissure parikartika then infantile colic that is udar shula udar is abdomen shula is a pain pravahika that is dysentery then gada bhramsha rectal prolapse that's why i have mentioned in the beginning you must try to learn these terminology can you see i have marked this parikartika what is parikartika anal fissure udara shul infantile colic pravahika dysentery likewise you make the ayurvedic terminology very perfect with the brown shul ama and its disorders like ama vata jwar that is rheumatic fever we are going to discuss everything don't take tension sir you are too fast tw sir very very fast we are not understanding <laughs> relax 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 everything will be repeated 100 times don't worry just go on hearing just go on hearing rasa vas rotas the problem with fever jwar pandu anemia hemoglobin is low normal 12 to 14 gram percent then mrud bhakshana janya pandu mrud mrud is a mud anemia associated with clay eating that is called as a paika this word is very important ask always in the oral huh? what is paika uh, there are always worm problems may be there then rakta vas rotas kamala is a jaundice rakta pitta is a bleeding problems bleeding from the uh, gums bleeding from the sputum bleeding from the vomiting bleeding from the uh, urine bleeding from the rectal region so pr bleeding epistaxis all these words are there rakta pitta pitta problem and which is vitiating to the rakta dhatu huh? which is dosha pitta which is dushya rakta yakruto dara udara means uh, yakruto dara is a hepatomegaly enlargement of the liver pleho dara splenomegaly okay next mouse and medov srotas srotas is very important concept srotas is like a system srotas is like a channel apachi that is lymphadenitis especially tubercular cervical lymphadenopathy galaganda goiter problem with the thyroid gland ganda mala cervical lymphadenopathy this is also most of the time cancerous then mutrava srotas shof in vrkka that is glomerulonephritis or nephrotic syndrome okay next is anya bal vikar miscellaneous pediatric disorders like epilepsy convulsions apasmar is epilepsy akshepak that is convulsions may be febrile then niruddha prakasha this is very important word the students don't get the idea the examiner asked tell me about niruddha prakasha 
Niruddha Prakash is a phimosis that is related with your penis skin uh, that cannot be taken back. That is called as a phimosis. Then cerebral palsy, which is very common nowadays, and the people come to Ayurveda. Behavioral disorders in children, uh, like breath, holding space, spells, attack. Spell means attack. Spell is like attack. Then bedwetting, shaya mutrata. This is also a common problem. Then paika, just now I have mentioned, unmada is like hysterical attacks. Autism is now common. ADHD, I have a very interesting video on this topic. That is attention deficit hyperactive disorders. I have the good video. Then what is that mental retardation? Zadatva in the brain. Zadatva, mental retardation. Then part B, we have started. Prana Raksha Vidhi, life-saving measures in the children, like how you can treat shock, that is the less blood supply to the brain, how you can treat the anaphylaxis because of the serious allergy to the drug, for example, penicillin. The patient can die with this anaphylaxis. Okay? Then poisoning, foreign body in the respiratory tract, status epilepticus, that is continuous attacks of the convulsion, status epilepticus, hemorrhage, that is a bleeding problem. Then prana raksha vidhi, life-saving measures, acute renal failure. What you can do? Like modern, you know, the dialysis we do, febrile convulsions, status asthmaticus. Whenever there is a status word, it indicates that continuous problem with the breathlessness. Fluid and electrolyte balance. Okay. Next, balagraha is like a psychiatric problem or infectious problem. We have to know the classification of balagraha. Then this is a practical part. We are not bothering about much about this practical part. Now I am going to share you the few question papers. So I will stop this sharing or otherwise I can open the another one. Uh, here I can see. Okay. Immediately we have started with the question papers. Okay. So first topic you can see MR, measles and rubella vaccination. So vaccination topic is very important. Whenever you are attending your my lectures, college lectures, all the textbook, you must remember these particular words. In spite of syllabus, you focus on the question papers. So, MR vaccination, measles and rubella. Then, kukunaka vyadi. I am going to describe what is kukunaka. This is Ayurvedic word. Then, herbs palsy. Haritokta kshiradosh. Harit is one of the samvita. Harita samvita. Although kashyap is important, harit is also a very recent type of the samvita. So more references are from Kashyap as well as the Harita. Shiradosh, breast milk problems. Stanya, Abhava, Dugdha Vyavastha. Alternative feeding in the absence of breast milk. Gandamala, as I have told you, is most of the time uh, tubercular. Cervical lymphadenopathy. Okay. Herd immunity. You might have been heard this word during the corona period. Herd immunity is a immunity to the mass. Many people get automatic uh, immunity because of the lot of people, epidemic and endemic around their person. Lot of people are suffered from that uh, corona. So, automatically, some people, even without vaccination, they get immunity that is called as a herd immunity. I am going to explain scientifically afterwards. Huh? Kashyapokta, here the Kashyap, Aushadi Matra Nirdharan, how you can decide the doses, then muscular dystrophy, then Charakokta Nabhi Rog. Then reproductive and child health program of the central government and state government, causes of vomiting in the children, general principles of treatment in children, prana pratyagamana. This is very important topic, prana pratyagamana, that is neonatal resuscitation according to Ayurveda and modern view. Then sanskar, describe the sanskar in the children regarding its age, method, and significance. For example, uh, you might have been heard about Munja Sanskar, a thread ceremony. Like you might have been heard about the uh, Suvarna Prashana Sanskar. So these are the different uh, things that makes the child more strong in the immunity. Akala Prasutta Balaka Lakshana mentioned the signs and symptoms of preterm baby and describe its management. Preterm baby management can be asked in the gynecology also. Yesterday we have seen some preterm delivery. Huh? There also this particular word in the Sri Rog also Prasuti Tantra. Of course, not Sri Rog, Prasuti Tantra. Akshepaka Jvara, differential diagnosis of febrile convulsions and describe about the meningitis. By the way, let me tell you something about meningitis. Two or three things are important. Meningitis is an inflammation of coverings of the brain. 
meninges. Okay, there will be high fever, and there will be two important sign. I am saying about sign. What is sign? Neck stiffness. His neck becomes so stiff that you cannot bend. You cannot touch the uh, chin to the sternum. That is called as a neck stiffness. And another thing, you have to check uh, the plantar reflex. And that is also the positive reflex. Plantar reflex is very important in diagnosing the meningitis. Okay. Next, uh, we will go. Here you can see prana pratyagaman, same resuscitation, uh, upashi, upashirshak, that uh, we, say, uh, we have seen that's hydrocephalus. Danta sampat lakshana, what are the best teeth? Then dhatri quality, that is attendant nurse for uh, taking the care of the child. Nabhi pak, inflammation or the infection in the umbilical cord. Krumi rog, that is related with the worm infestation. Then kshira lasaka vyadi, that is the causes and features of kshira lasaka. Then lehan, write the importance and usefulness of lehan means chartan, like suvarna prash, uh, is like a leha karma. Then Kridanak, write the importance of Kridanak. All these terms I am going to explain you very shortly in the next lecture. Marasmus, that video I will share you. Then Mrut Bhakshana Janya Pandu. Pandu is a less hemoglobin, less RBC and because of the uh, uh, eating the mud. Anybody remembering that particular, uh, you can share me by chat. Huh? The, do you remember the word that I have used just in the syllabus before? Mrut Bhakshana Janya. What is the word for that disease or what, what is the condition? If you remember, you can just uh, chat box, you write down that word. If you can write down immediately. Uh, anybody of you, in spite of putting the audio on, you can chat box, you have the chat over there and you can share your views. What is that word? Okay, till the end you can remember, otherwise you can ask me and I will tell you. Kashyap Samhita, Vaishishta, special features of Kashyap Samhita, then Parigarbhik Lakshana and Chikitsa, then write the causes of Akshepaka, that is convulsions in children and describe the febrile convulsions, then importance of breastfeeding, that is Matru Stanya Pana, explain the types, symptoms and treatment of Stanya Dushti, Vataja, Pittaja, Kafari, etc. Kuposhita Balaka Pariksha, that is examination of the malnourished child and explain the Fakka Vyadi, Fakka is like a rickets where there is a calcium and vitamin D problem. Sun exposure is very important. In spite of giving only calcium supplement, ask the child to sit in the sun because ultraviolet rays can helpful to make the production of the vitamin D and vitamin D is necessary for the absorption of calcium. Okay, That vitamin D and calcium you must remember with the fuck. Then matimandatva, clinical features, treatment of mental retardation. Uh, mental retardation is important. Next, we will go further, slowly and steadily. Again, repeatedly same questions. If it is the same, I am not going to repeat it again because it, uh, one is another because these are all pratyag, prana pratyagamas, uh, respiratory resuscitation, upashirshaka, hydrocephalus, danta sampat regarding the teeth, dhatri quality, attendant or the nurse, nabhi pak, infection and inflammation with regards to the umbilicus or umbilical cord, krimi rog. Which are the four important krumi you know? You can write down in the chat box. This is the school level question I am asking you. Huh? Chat. You can write down in the chat please. Krumi roga. Which are the four types of the krumi? Or otherwise last five minutes I will tell you these answers. Simple answers. Just make the things more lightly and very happily. Huh? Write the causes and features of Shira Lagsaka Vyadi. Snehana Mahatva. And upayogita, importance and usefulness of the lehana karma, suvarna prash, for example. Kridanak, importance of the ground, playground, etc. Or the play area. Marasmus, the, again the kosha or core, marasmus, these are the diseases with the protein, calorie, malnourishment. Mruddha bhakshana janya pandu, that's what I have asked the kashyap samhita vaishishtya, that is the special features. Parigarbhika, lakshana and chikitsa, clinical features and treatment of parigarbhika. Then Akshepak Karan and Febrile Convergence. I think uh, maybe the same paper or I don't know. But write the importance of breastfeeding, types and symptoms of Stanya Dushti, Kuposhita Balaka Pariksha, examination of malnourished child and explain the Pakka Vyadi. Then Mati Mandatva, mental retardation. Pashana Gardava, yes. 
new new disease ha <laughs> pashana gardhav related with the can you tell me the name yes chat box you write down chat box pashana gardhav parotitis here uh, it's like a heart pashan is like heart like a stone so pashana gardhav is a parotitis or mumps and very interesting thing i am in between i am telling you the practical things huh? if this is happening in the childhood in between the age of 5 to 10 years mumps at most of the time on the one side but sometimes both both the parotid glands can swell at the same time it is a viral infection if this is not properly treated then sometimes orchitis develops orchitis that is the inflammation of testis and that can cause in the after marriage or after the adulthood it can cause the problem in the spermatogenesis try to understand sperm count may be less and that can be cause of infertility vandhyatva so this is the pashan gardhav looking like a very casual disease but take it very serious huh? pashan gardhav mumps then parigarbhika muscular dystrophy janma jata gudavikruti that is congenital problems in the anal or the rectal part danta sampat how the best teeth can be balyavastha adhunik mat nusar vayavargikaran i think uh, somebody has uh, given me the answer krimi roga okay ankit has given answer bahya krimi kapha krimi purishya krimi rakta krimi congratulations very nice very nice congratulations but let me add something modern aspect round worm you can write down round worm thread worm hook worm and tape worm i repeat round worm common common round worm thread worm around the anus and itching is always there thread worm then hook hook worm it causes the anemia hook worm anemia and tape worm after taking the meat of the pig meat of the pig that they people suffer from the tape worm so round worm thread worm hook worm tape worm this also you remember but i congratulate ankit because he has answered correctly okay now anybody has remembering the mud eating problem anemia you can also write down in the chat box huh? okay balyavastha se adhunik mata anusar vay vargikaran age classification of childhood period according to the modern science okay then asamyak nabhi nal chedan complication of improper cutting of umbilical cord difference in examination between the children and adult the most important problem the child if if the child is uh, below 2 years uh, below 1 year and he is getting pain pain anywhere in the body he cannot tell you why he is crying so we have to find out the causes of crying if he is holding his ear it may be ear ache if he is having always uh, what you can say the moving his legs like this it may be the leg pain he is getting that why he is crying so it is very tricky to find out the cause find out the disease in the uh, children i will give one another example pneumonitis uh, that is a very breathlessness pneumonia and he has a lot of problem in the breathing that how we can understand his ali nasi this can you see my can you see my face ali nasi this is these are moving and that why we can understand he may have problem with the breathing breathlessness then stanya abhava dugdha vyavastha alternate feeding in the absence of the breast milk okay general principles of treatment in children ors very popular you know the electral powder that we give in the loose motions in spite of putting the saline it is better to give oral rehydration solution rh incompatibility i think this was the question also in the prasuti tantra paper 1 the disease is called as erythroblastosis fetalis rbc is become big my lecture is going fast that i know but i am telling don't worry be happy i am going to explain all these things 100 times nothing to be tension only go on hearing uh, one hour should be very energetic gandamala <laughs> cervical lymphadenopathy because of the tb don't forget it okay just before i forget i will give the answer mud eating problem mud eating anemia problem pica write down p i c a pica 
पी आय सी ए पाय का पाय का इज अ मडिटी ओके नवजात बालकांमधील कामला न्यूनेट्रल जॉन्डिस ओके देन शीतपूर्वक जर फीवर विथ चिल और रायगर मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट इज अ मलेरिया अँड युरिनरी ट्रॅक इन्फेक्शन देन नॅशनल इम्युनायझेशन प्रोग्रॅम ओके व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट वेन यू हॅव टू गिव्ह बी सी जी देन व्हेन यू हॅव टू गिव्ह द डी पी टी डी टी ऑल थिंग्स वी आर गोईंग टू सी बाल पक्षाघात दॅट इज द अगेन पॅरालिसिस इन द चिल्ड्रेन देन वी विल गो फर्दर उल्ब परिमार्जन विधी आय एम गोईंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज उल्ब देन कॅल्क्युलेट द डोस ऑफ पॅरासिटॅमॉल अँटीपायरेटिक फॉर द फिवर यु नो द क्रोसिन फॉर ए चाइल्ड वेईंग टेन के जी हाऊ यू कॅन कॅल्क्युलेट द डोस ओके क्रीडानक स्पेशालिटी सनिरुद्ध गुद कंजनेटल प्रॉब्लेम इम परफोरेटेड एनस हरितोक्त कौमारृत्य परिभाषा परिभाषा मीन्स ऑलवेज रिमेम परिभाषा इज अ डेफिनेशन परिभाषा इज अ डेफिनेशन देन एम आर वॅक्सिन दिस इज मिझल्स अँड रुबेला वॅक्सिन बालपक्षाघात पोलिओ बालपक्षाघात राईट डाऊन पोलिओ बालपक्षाघात पोलिओ नाव इट इज मोर ओव्हर इरेडिकेटेड फ्रॉम द इंडिया यु नो द पोलिओ वॅक्सिनेशन देन प्रायमरी कॉम्प्लेक्स रिगार्डेड विथ द ट्युबरक्युलॉसिस अप्राकृत नवजात कामला पॅथोलॉजिकल न्युओनेटल जॉन्डिस दॅट इज अ प्रॉब्लेम विथ द लिव्हर युअर बिलिरुबिल लेव्हल इज हाय इन द युरिन यू गेट द बायल सॉल्ट अँड बायल पिगमेंट हरितोक्त स्तन्य दृष्टी ओके देन आयुर्वेदिक प्राण प्रत्यागमन विधी रिसोसिटेशन हाऊ यू कॅन मेक अ रिसोसिटेशन हिमरेजिक डिसिजेस ऑफ द न्यूबॉर्न इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ लेहन लेह्य सुवर्ण प्राशन व्याधी क्षमत्व वर्णन करून डिस्क्राईब द डिटेल नॅशनल इम्युनायझेशन प्रोग्रॅम अँड ऑप्शनल वॅक्सिनेशन राईट डाऊन द किशोर वैन बाल स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम अँड मादक द्रव्य मादक इज अ ड्रग ॲडिक्शन सेवनजन्य विकृती अँड द मॅनेजमेंट प्रसवकालीन श्वासावरोध डिस्क्राईब इन डिटेल कॉज साईन सिमटम्स मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ बर्थ ॲस्पॅक्सिया द चाइल्ड डन डोंट क्राय डोंट क्राय दॅट इज अ प्रॉब्लेमॅटिक देन देर इज अ वन केस टेकिंग थ्री इयर्स चाइल्ड प्रेझेंटेड विथ कंप्लेंट ऑफ जनरल एनासारका इडिमाइज देअर विथ नो हिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रिव्हियस इन्फेक्शन राईट द कॉज इन्व्हेस्टिगेशन डायग्नोसिस डिफरेन्शियल डायग्नोसिस अँड मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ द डिसीज व्हाय देअर इज इडिमा आय विल टेल यू थ्री इम्पॉर्टंट कॉजेस राईट डाऊन three important causes of shoot in the adult not in the children but it can be applicable to the children write down heart problem heart problem c c f c c f congestive cardiac failure heart problem second problem second kidney problem kidney second is a kidney problem and third third problem liver problem third is a liver problem and last but not least fourth problem is proteins are less hypoproteinemia okay you have to write down all these things next uh sushrutukta vaya vibhajana then bcg about the vaccination then moros reflex anprashana sanskar then causes of the dhanurvat or tetanus kukunaka clinical features dantod bhed gadantak ras this is a medicine ghatak dravya and the uh, uh, utility शिरालसक व्याधी कॉजेस अँड क्लिनिकल फीचर्स कुमारागार राष्ट्रीय इम्युनायझेशन नॅशनल इम्युनायझेशन प्रोग्रॅम राईट फीचर्स अँड ग्रेड ऑफ डिहायड्रेशन फर्स्ट ग्रेड डिहायड्रेशन सेकंड ग्रेड थर्ड ग्रेड एक्सेट्रा प्राण प्रत्यागमन नवजात बालक परिचर्या सद्योजात कामला न्यूनेटल जॉन्डिस अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेदा अँड मॉडर्न सायन्स स्तन्य परीक्षण स्तन्यापनयन दॅट मीन्स हाऊ यू कॅन स्टॉप द ब्रेस्ट फिडिंग it's very tricky slowly and steadily the mother should take the child to the external food and she should stop the breast milk after one year or after six months minimum first six months only and only breast milk then pranava srotasa parikshan and tamaka shwas bronchial asthma symptoms and management who portion and fakta vyadhi like rickets next is a dpt diphtheria pertussis and tetanus diphtheria purchases tetanus vaccine kumaragar danta sampat and a sampat good and bad teeth then buddhimandya mental retardation moros reflex charakokt nabhi rog then jalasharshak that is hydrocephalus causes and treatment according to sharandhar aushadhi matra dose of the medicine shayya mutrata that is bedwetting if the child is of 6 years old and still he is 
getting uh, the uh, that means the uh, urine in the bed or in the underwear then that is a problem haritokta stanya drushti then national immunization program detailed physiological and neonatal jaundice karna vedana sanskar then describe distinguish between growth and development about the up to the one year that is the milestones that i have the video that i will going to share you each and every video that i am going to share you you must see the video from first to last minute make it a pause in between take the pauses and give me fantastic notes in your notebook that you have prepared for dr desh pandey's class take the photograph of whatever whatever notes you have made send it repeatedly to me on the whatsapp send it repeatedly don't worry whatever you are studying of your own according to the guidance of dr desh pandey only your college activity different your personal activity different what dr desh pandey is asking you you must write it down in the desh pandey's notebook no other things not your uh, teacher of the college not your own study that you have to do but that not should not come in my notebook okay then atisara vyadhi diarrhea loose motions then there should be the detailed description about according to modern and ayurvedic science nephrotic syndrome huh? here a very interesting moon shaped face moon shaped face nephrotic syndrome syndrome is a group of collection of the symptoms then bacterial pneumonia in the children classification of age according to the sushrut write a note on stanya sampat importance of kaumar vritti tantra charakokta stanya drushti parigarbhika ulbak then write a note and development of milestones repeatedly ask same question one year old child about the measles every time kukunaka these are very popular tetanus can you see dantot bhavajanya vyadhi sahaj hrudaya vikar congenital cardiac problems then pratishaya pranavasrota problem baladrah that may be you can say the psychological problem psychiatric problem or infectious problem birth injuries then regarding the malaria national health program related to the children signs of the normal baby tonic neck reflex microcephaly samvardhana grit is a medicine then tonsillitis symptoms and treatment haritokta kshira dosh lehana kalpana uh, then pangutva that is a polio polio myelitis okay parigarbhika vyadhi that is a lakshana bija dosha vikruti uh, that is the problems in congenital or genetic problem dpt diphtheria pertussis tetanus write it down khand osht or khand talu that is a cleft lip or cleft palate here it is a tear congenital problem then janmanantar balka cha pehla 3 divasan cha what you have to give the first 3 days after birth what the child should be given as a food okay then baladrah sankhya vividh acharya mata anusar like for example charak what is saying sushrut vagvat etc then bal pakshaghat again the polio myelitis balyavasthe madhe importance of nutrition prasav kalina vyadhi sangun enumerate the prasav kalin vyadhi describe the sammurcha vyadhi birth asphyxia sammurcha is a birth asphyxia then define what is garbha what is bal what is kumar next is a stanya pan vidhi how uh, ideal stanya breast milk should be given then kukunaka vyadhi upanayana sanskar one of the important sanskar bal shosh uh, that is again the marasmus koshorkar weight loss is there mmr vaccination measles Uh, and rubella then next is a bal sanskar importance in today's era stanya drushti is a types samvardhana grit balkan madil chardi that is vomiting in the children niruddha prakasha yes 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 anybody is remembering modern word modern uh, word that we have discussed in the previously niruddha prakasha if anybody is remembering write it down in the chat box ha huh? niruddha prakasha or otherwise i will tell you afterwards then describe the post term baby then krumi rog just now aniket has very nicely said purisheja krumija kafaja rakta etc and i have told you the four round worm thread worm hook worm and tape worm okay niruddha prakasha is nothing but the phimosis that is related with the skin of the penis prepuce jat matra balak paricharya elaborate examination method of the newborn in detail now by the by all these examination method i request by folding my hands my 
there is a one uh, interesting app that i have developed ayurveda academy mobile app that is free to download and there are very interesting programs of very nominal prices regarding the question papers regarding the clinical examination so i request you that you can purchase those programs i can share you the links of my mobile app app download is free but the further programs of say example 300 rupees 400 rupees for lifetime and there is a very very interesting videos very interesting ppts and pdf then importance of nutrition in children then dantod bhojanya sarva rogayatanam that you have to danto bedascha sarva rogayatanam that means ayatana is a sadhana uh, whenever the tithi is happening it can the cause of all the diseases like fever like for example cough problem diarrhea problem and all these problems then akshepak convulsions in the children and explain in detail kashyapokta vaya vibhajan matru stanya prashasti who has recommended that breast milk is the best milk uh, breast uh, breast milk is the best food for the newborn baby matu reva pibet stanyam what is the word matu reva pibet stanyam that apgar score what is that apgar bal chatur bhadra rasa is a, a very interesting formulation suvarna prashana vidhi with a brush that is rectal prolapse the next is ahiputana vyadi shwasanaka that is pneumonia akala prasuti that is preterm baby dantot bhojanya vyadi then kwashi orkor that just now i have explained you protein calorie malnutrition then stanya nash what is the cause that uh, the lady is not getting the breast milk kukunaka vyadi then uh, birth injuries then you have the dehydration symptoms and then kamala jaundice in the newborn baby charakokta vaya bhed sushrutokta cutting of the umbilical cord revati grah then guda pramusha bcg vaccination anna prashana samskar then drug doses according to the kashyap kumaradhar then kashyapokta ashtasved fermentation methods jala shirshak that is hydrocephalus turner syndrome congenital anomaly in the uh, chromosomes then rch program then karna mool shoth that is mumps huh? then what is next this is also called as a pashana gardhab pashana gardhab breast feeding according to ayurveda and modern science in detail then etiology pathology of shwasanaka jwara that is nothing but the pneumonia then pidika janya jwara like for example measles congenital anomalies of children in detail charakokta vayo bhed sushrutokta cutting of the umbilical cord revati grah guda pramusha bcg vaccination anna prashan samskar drug dose according to the kashyap in children kumar adhar kashyapokta ashtasved upjala shirshak hydrocephalus turner syndrome rch program karna moola shoth that is mumps then ayurveda and azurik breast feeding then shwasanaka that we have already seen fever with rash i think this is the even fast reading of the question paper so today uh, in the class of 4th october 2023 first class private class of the uh, kaumar vritya tantra or the ayurvedic pediatrics dr deshpande has uh, read i can i am not saying that i have explained but i have read the important points of the syllables and also dr deshpande has read the past five years question papers the students have understood that there are the repetition of the same questions same questions again and again so if you start if you start making the notes of these questions of course dr deshpande is taking slow and steadily because every week there will be lecture of the roga nidan on monday 7 to 8 uh, tuesday there will be the stri roga vidyan 7 to 8 then kumar vritya tantra that is a wednesday 7 to 8 pm in the evening and then also on the sunday uh, 3 to 4 swasthavrutta and 4 to 5 there also the charaka uttarartha so these are the classes will go on steadily and smoothly till your final examination because uh, afterwards i am i can take a more revisions also and so i expect you to cooperate me by making the uh, notebook whenever i share the video you you can go through that video make the notes and write it down every time you write down the date and the page number so that i can understand that you are making sincere efforts as per the guidance of professor dr deshpande if you follow my guidance i am sure you can get best marks in your final examination of university huh? to begin with my lectures may be found little bit faster 
but I am trying to upload those videos privately on the YouTube channel and share you the link of that particular videos. Otherwise, we will try to uh, share the videos in another ways also. There is a Dropbox and all these things. Okay. So I hope that today's lecture, although it is fast, although it is fast, something, some words have entered into the ear and they will remain in your brain slowly and steadily. Okay. So this is all for today's lecture because it is now nearly only one minute has left. Uh, just I will stop the recording and then you can discuss if you want something to discuss. But better way, uh, I will I will suggest you that in spite of continuing here discussion, you can WhatsApp me afterwards. Okay. So I wish you all the best. Take care and see you in the next class. So thank you very much. I am closing the recording as well. And I am closing this lecture as well. So thank you very much and take care. Good night.